All right, folks, the deck is Black Rock and Roll Warrior. The goal of the deck is to play a bunch of spells in the early game to keep the board clear so that we don't die and work our way towards a Naga Giant or a Molten Giant if we have a low health total after playing the Black Rock and Roll, which will add a bunch of stats to each of those, play charge on them, and bash our opponent in the face. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Watch this! Okay. We drew the card. Probably need to full keep this. Sticky Finger won that game, just saying. Um, Sticky Finger actively contributed to them winning the game slower. <laughs> An incredible discovery. Job done. Uh, it's gonna be hard to be able to test for the counter spell. Maybe I wait until turn seven so that I can Scream for me. go dead man's into black rock. That swing was just to play around rig fair game. Your signature is required. Can I suggest a new card? Back. Scream for me. Thank you, Zero Crow. The rig fair game gets to go off here. It's not rig fair game. We know it's not counter spell either. So unless a new secret comes down, we can just rip the uh, black rock and roll. Hey Ruffle, please have patience with all the thalidomide what babies in chat. Me included. You can't just go and make up or er, words now. <laughs> but thank you, Dick Ball Fondler, for your valued input. I intend to deceive. Excuse me, you are on fire. <laughs> Well, so much for this Kodo Hide drum kit. Scream for me! No force on Azeroth can stop me! Right, I forget about the death rattle. I was like, why didn't the <laughs> why didn't the shatter clear? What's going on? My game's broken. And then I realized what happened. You're not ready for this. Uh, I need to find multiple minions is the problem, so I probably have to hold one of the non big boys back. Ruffle, your vids have helped me recover from surgery a bit easier over these last few days. Couldn't wait for your next stream over the weekend. How has the state of wild been while I was out? <laughs> uh, unfortunately not great, uh, but happy to help in any way. Hope you get well soon, Onu. Thank you for the support. Um, It'll be our little secret. Wild is a lot of druids at the moment, unfortunately. I think I use this to test for counter because I do want to draw a card off of this. Okay, so we go here, here. Again, hope your uh, recovery goes well, Onu. Oh. All right. Uh, now I probably have to start considering sending these upstairs if I can, so that I can avoid the rig fair game going off. I haven't tested for objection. 
but I probably just have to do this, right? It was going to be too slow to wait for the Naga Giant. Fortunately, this is the outcome or the result of that. I'm late. The reason I had to do that was it just as easily could have been explosive runes, so. Excuse me, you are on fire. I intend to deceive. Buckler Brawl. When was the last time Wild was in a good state? Hmm. I mean, there have been periods. Uh, Renathal meta, maybe? Or pre Renathal nerf? I don't know that Renathal himself was ne necessarily meta, but he slowed down the game a fair amount. Time with the have I seen both counter spells yet? No. Or have I seen both objections? Or both rig fair games. Looks like something that interacts with uh, minions, so I need to hang on to this to block it. Although I guess I could tempo it if I really want to, because if it gets blocked, that means it's just the final objection. But I'd rather hold it just in case they develop another secret, because it could again be fair game uh, explosive, and then they might play another secret in the future that uh, is in fact the uh, objection. This is not the way I want to win the game. Here is some of my birthday money. Thank you, Licker. I'm late. I'm late. I'm just gonna let them draw here. I want to win with the combo. This might be a throw, but fine. I don't want to get them to a point where they concede. Time with the combo. You're not ready for this. What once was cloudy shall become clear. Not of cards. Your signature is required. Oh, well, we just kind of win here anyway, right? For a master tactician, this is Bonk! We sort of did it. Uh, let's look Absolutely hard for not. the Black Rock. I bring you peace. Job done. All right, big priest doing big priest things. Job done. We will feed on this oh, not big priest. Okay, on curve. 
I guess we just lose anyway. We need to get some water, so I'll be right back. Deny their draw engine. Solves at least one part of the problem. Never mind. Light sings and the impure. Like watching your vids to wind down. Always appreciate the content and a good well met, smiley face. Hey, thank you, Ratch. Appreciate that. This your opponent guy sure plays varied decks. Yeah, they must have all the cards and be pretty rich. Thank you, Blonde Goat. We have kind of uh, at least delayed their um, card draw. Draws them one. They're looking, I imagine, for this. Oh, they played both animate duds. No force on Azeroth can stop me! Alright, we just really want to draw a Naga Giant here. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, what a top deck, finally. Warlock, a little bit weird. Probably need to expect quest lines so that I can... Try and just hit the black rock early. Which has been very difficult to do so far. Ruffle, how does Finley plus black rock work? Is it possible to double buff the cards in your deck? Job's done. How what do you what do you expect to happen when you how would that double the buffs? Imp Warlock, maybe. More Ugh, these books are ruined. Job's done. When you play Blackrock, it is played, therefore gone. Yeah, that's my confusion. <laughs> I think I'm genuinely unsure what the expectation is. Job's done.
Maybe they expect you to shuffle Blackrock with Dead Man's Hand first. The Blackrock in the Molten Giant, 28-28. Then Finley and redraw the Molten Giant, 48-48. Why would it... Why would the what, what does Finley have to do with the Black Rock being played? The top shelf is extra. Blood DK actually good now, I haven't played in a while. It is very strong and standard. <laughs> Thought Blood DK was just control. That doesn't negate the fact that it's wrong. <laughs> My god, I, 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 am I am I having a stroke or is chat just like not making sense? <laughs> it can't just it, it can't be me, right? Black Rock and Roll would be so much better if it was hand and deck and not just deck. That is true. That is true. Better cards are indeed better. Finally! Is this going to do five or six? It's like six. Nice. You good? take enough damage to actually make that matter. Because I have too much armor. Casually running Dusk Imp? I mean, that's just a good card in an lock. Aren't you playing clowns in warrior deck? Uh, because there are plenty of clowns in chat already. Worry her? I don't even know her. Play me on. For Doomhammer, let your penance begin. Hope you play an OTK deck. We have turned uh, our curse into our strength. The baby bearing chatters have arrived. Welcome, Michael. I really feel like it's necessary to take three for a few turns when I just have a brawl. 
to like clean up any follow-ups. I don't know why the Totemic Surge was used there. From your experience, what do you consider the best way to grow as a beginning Hearthstone streamer? Um, focus on the content that people can see uh, when you're not live. As you're trying to grow a stream, some of the worst use of your time would be spent on uh, streaming, ironically. Uh, because if nobody's there, you're not going to grow simply by pressing the go live button generally better to make content off of other platforms and or on other platforms and get the people that see that content onto your live streams probably just kill everything but the amalgam here They don't develop too much, we might be able to sneak in a black rock and roll. But like, especially what YouTube, all live streams are very difficult to find. Uh, Twitch has no recommendation algorithm or no effective recommendation algorithm to get people that don't already know about your stream to find your stream. So like just putting in hours on Twitch is not an effective strategy an unfortunate time to draw the uh, Molten Man. The new Voon and Warrior any good? Absolutely not, no. Probably have to brawl this. Definitely have to brawl this. And then pray we don't get super unlucky. Good god. Those are some good trick totems. Oh my god. Oh, I almost threw a fit when I saw that Giga Totem come out at the end. Hearthstone TikToks YouTube Shorts. I mean, that's I am the maybe an easy short-term way to, uh, because there's very little competition in it, but like, uh, Hearthstone is a little bit unique in that like short-form content tends to do like, worse than uh, long-form content. of afraid of devolve so i think i hold back the big guy for charge is that crazy i think it's just dumb. zero mana 28 28 is just kind of good right i still have another naga giant if i really need it and even if we get devolved they just i did get three eight eights uh mountain giants can be devolved it used to be the case that they can't but uh they have since changed it so it'll just like reset its stats. Uh, it can be devolved into either another Molten Giant or the uh, Naga Giant. Little time. Consistency is also super important in successful streaming. You'll find you keep your audience quicker. That's true. Like, I think that applies to any and all content creation, right? Like it's, it's important to consistently be putting out content because more content or is just more opportunities for people to find your stuff. Surely we get a charge here, right? No force on Azeroth can stop me. I'm sorry. Was my was my 
Magnum Giant too massive for you. Right, let's keep these two together. If it's even shaman, the drum kit is actually pretty decent. Igneous Lava Gorger. Yes, that's the one. Igneous Elemental is the neutral. Okay. Got a decent hand for that. I probably just want to kill that, though. I don't need to worry about getting value. I also kind of don't want to draw cards prior to the Lorthamar. Probably just coin a drum kit next turn so I can get that ramp in. Although, it also just like slam into Warpath, and that's pretty clean. That allows me to save the coin for the Lorthamar. Lines up perfectly for me. Scream for me. Naga Sea Witch could make for big turns. You mean for the opponent? After I spend eight mana, do nothing, and then get bashed in the face. Charles has subscribed. Yeah, thank you, Charles. Appreciate the uh, support. Yeah. How many warriors does it take to change a light bulb? It doesn't matter. They can't climb the ladder. Wow. <laughs> oh, thank you, Groma. Appreciate that. It's actually a good warrior bad meme. I don't think Scream it's worth giving up the, like, I could Warpath here in exchange for six health. I don't think that's worth. I would just rather take the six. And save the Warpath. This isn't the best order that we could do it in, but like we don't need the full damage. This is just like I don't know, sixteen, sixteen worth of stuff is pretty good. No, that's a Murloc. Go ahead and trade this. Now we're talking. Like, if I didn't know this were a Murloc because of the ice fishing, I might have considered um, like removing stuff, playing the Brawl even, just to avoid... Um, Just to avoid giving them like another opportunity at a spell buff. It's the only one I really wanted to die.
aim for me! I think it matters all that much. But here is a 36 36 uh, Bolton Giant. Almost dead to Bloodlust, oh, oh well. Yeah, it would be pretty funny if they were running that card in their deck. They have zero mana Bloodlust that is permanent, they don't need. I guess I should have just played both Giants. Now nah, we're good. Bop. Thank you to legendary supporters Battlefly, Brian Quinn, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Kali Alkali, Cathandrian, Lilu, Nate Drex, Saga, Shadow One TV, and Sognisman. 